sit sein, ons sit sein. Ok, middag ouwens. Afternoon skies. Uh, first off, thank you so much for the tremendous, uh, let's call it support. I don't know how to call it. But all the people who wish me not only happy birthday, but then also in those same messages, said Skulk, we support you. Just never give up. Okay, I will never give up. So, so thank you so much for that. I want to take it uh, this, this, this afternoon a little bit of time just, just to explain a few things because once again the media and the agents provocateur and the stupid people and the so-called political analysts and all the, all, everybody and, and, and anybody is, is running around with, with the whole issue of electoral, the electoral process inside the ANC and what will play off now um, in a very foreseeable future when the new leadership of the ANC is, is elected. Okay. Where do I get my information from? Not from the media. Not from, from so-called informants in the ANC. Not from so-called contacts. Not from so-called political and analysts. I get my, get my information directly from press statements as given from the ANC. You can go and sign in on their formal newsletters without being a member of the ANC. And you will receive it through the email. You will see exactly what's going on in the party. And you can go onto their formal website and read what is written there. As simple as that. We're speaking of source information. Bron documenta. I don't have to prove anything because a person had an opinion and now the opinion must be proven by something. I come with first-hand information that's available to you. Ek en Leonie het nou net lekker gelag gesê, dit is nou, nee, skalk, skalk is nou weer, dit is nou weer iets van, van geheime hierdie, en, uh, nee, dit is nou sikker net die Freemasons wat hierdie goed weet, ek is nie eers een Freemason nie, ok, I always have, have quite a laugh about the Freemason nie, but, let's, let's leave that for, for another day. I get my information from the source documents from which the other guys get the information, who makes opinions, and then try to convince you through opinion. Okay, who's left from the ANC's own list of nominations? I'm first going to break something to you about the people being nominated already for what is called the National Ex Executive Committee, the NEC of the ANC, in other words, the governing body of the ANC. That list is available. There's the list. Right? On the ANC's own website. I'm going to just call out the first 10 names. There's no need to calling out more. Just to give you an idea of the information that's here right in front of me. The first person here nominated or the person with the highest number of nominations already out of the branches of the, the ANC is a person by the name of Sisle Sikalala. Male and he has 1447 nominations. There it is. Right? Second one, Malusi Gigawa. You will remember that uh, that guy. The, the guy, he, he always looked like a little peacock. With the, uh, the best clothes you can think of. I, I think you can you can smell him a mile away on, on expensive uh, perfumes from, from Europe. Uh, he's number, number two. Despite all the things that happened previously. I don't even want to, to go and mention to you all the scandals that, that he was involved in. And he received 1,366 nominations. There it is. Then we have uh, Madhuduzi Manana. We have David Masondu. David Masondu, quite, quite well known. Fikile Mbalula. That absolute fool who was uh, Minister of Sport. He's still Minister of Sport. I don't know. I don't follow that, that exactly or, or, or to the letter. Uh, yeah, but for Fikile... The one that, that said to, to the Sprungwoks, they must go El Bluxem, I think it was, the, the All Blacks, that guy. Uh, Stella, the first who, a female, Stella uh, Abrams, she has 1,170 nominations. Ronald Ramola, uh, he's now Minister of, uh, of Justice, of, of Justice and Constitutional Development. He's an advocate himself, I've met him I think once or twice. 
he actually made a very good impression on me but yes still he's SACP slash ANC so I, I leave it at that David Makura interesting enough at number eight Toko to Dise uh, to Dise you also know her very well number uh, number nine um, and Antile Lingu, uh, Linguse um, number 10 and then they have I don't know I think nearly 600 nominations from there on I can't scroll that far I don't have, have to scroll there those are the people who were now nominated in general already by the branches of ANC to be on the nom uh, nomination list in other words those people that can be elected into the ANC National Executive Committee um, the top structure of the ANC let's call it the governing body of the ANC okay so those are general members general members and then you have the executive positions in other words the top six they are usually called the top six in other words the guys who really wields the power inside the ANC and uh, a lot has been said and made about a return of the so-called RET or Zuma faction guys I'm going to read to you the names on the the lists Zuma doesn't feature anywhere the Zuma faction does not feature anywhere Zuma will not be in contention as president of the ANC come the election process now 2022 inside the ANC remember this is not national elections this is elections of the ANC inside the ANC Zuma does not stand he was not even nominated into the possible top six of the ANC so whoever is running around with, with the story Zuma will become the next president again of South Africa number one is lying or number two is so stupid that he must rather go and uh, no let me not be that that I was just afternoon people he's not even nominated if you're not nominated in the top structure of the ANC you can, can't be elected in the top structure of the ANC if you are not the president of the ANC in terms of their own cadre deployment procedures you can never become the president of the Republic of South Africa forget about it Jacob Zuma is not even nominated his close cohorts and lieutenants Ace Magishule amongst them Karl Niels amongst them are not even nominated for the top position of president of the ANC or even the deputy president of the ANC so if a person comes to you with a story to say to you we are backing Zuma because he will become again the next president of the Republic of South Africa it is absolute nonsense it's a lie a blatant unadulterated lie okay who are nominated whose nominations have been accepted vetted and are formally on the list there's only two left after this afternoon because one candidate was disqualified there's only two people left uh, to run in the presidential race of the ANC that being Cyril Ramaphosa and Zweli Mekise quick background on Zweli Mekise ex-minister of health he's a medical doctor he's the one that screwed up the whole thing about COVID and therefore I cannot see that South Africa or the ANC will choose him as their elected leader he also does not have ground level support to the extent that he will have enough votes okay there's a possibility that Paul Mashitile can be and it can happen nominated from the floor but you will see where he already fits in Paul Mashitile being the uh, the guy running Gauteng for, for some time now before the Sufi was uh, put in into that place okay so the only two people at this point in time formally nominated to become the possible president of the ANC is Sil Ramapo thus far from the branches Sweli Makile 916 916 Ramaphosa 2036 the number of Makise. Okay, and we're back.
because I'm sitting in Pretoria, the only capital city in, in the world that does not have electricity or constant water. This, this, this belachelijk. Okay, guys, let's try again. Back. I don't know if they're trying to block me. I don't care. My, my message will get out. So in other words, the nonsense that people are being told that Zuma somehow miraculously, uh, miraculously by the, the wave of a, of a magic wand will become the president of the ANC or the, the country is absolute bullshit. There is no other way to describe it. Whoever pervades bullshit need to be cast out as you do with bullshit and be worked into the ground so that you can go and plant mealies there. Right. That's all I want to say about Zuma as possible president of South Africa or the ANC in the future. He's an old man. He's 80 years old. Yes, he can still dance when he, he, he gets the chance. We, we saw that with the opening of his new restaurant whilst he's on medical parole. But he is past. His RET faction is past. He is not nominated to become the president of the ANC. Full stop. You can't take it further than that. Okay. Deputy President, following nominations being accepted, vetted, and stands as it is already now on the list of the ANC. Paul Mashitile, remember what I said about people now telling, telling us Paul Mashitile will be nominated from the, from, from the floor? There is no need. Paul is going to be the next Deputy President of the ANC. I can, I can tell you that now, because he is the only one that has the actual uh, potential to take over from Ramaphosa in the next cycle. Okay. He's got 1,791 uh, nominations. The second one, Ronald Ramola, that I already described to you, uh, Minister of, of Justice and uh, Constitutional Development. Um, he has a very meager 427 uh, nominations. That is why I'm saying to you, Paul Moshetile will become the... the uh, Deputy President, he has 1,791 versus the next one with only 426. Seven. And now the wind is blowing me away. And then lastly, we have Oscar Mobondiani with a very meager 397 nominations. So in other words, President and Deputy President of the ANC, I will put money on this, will be Cyril Ramaphosa President and Paul Mashitile to be Vice President, Deputy President. Secretary General, we have uh, Ndu Mesene Ntuli, 1,225, um, Pumulo Masauli with 427 and uh, Fakili Mabululi with 749. I don't know, I would assume Ntuli will become the uh, new Secretary General. Remember, Ace Mahashule was not even nominated again to become SG of the ANC. Okay, as simple as that. He, he doesn't even feature. The so called Lieutenant to Zuma, who supposedly, in the mind of certain people, will become the next president or the next uh, deputy president of, of the country. Then, Chairperson. Stanley Matabata, 1,492, Gwedi Mantashi, 978, and David Pasondu, 501. Chairperson being a very senior, very uh, uh, heavy hitting position in the ANC, and therefore a very senior person in the ANC is usually uh, elected into that position. He's like the old man, like chairperson, uh, the chairman of the board in, in the corporate world. That is what, what he does. And then Treasurer General, in other words, the guy running the money, is Benjamin Chauke, with four, 552, Paul Mabe, 428, and Masina with 348. I don't know who's going to become the Treasurer General, it doesn't matter, he's like the financial director of the company, he's not there to, to do much more than simply run the finances of, of, the, of the ANC. People, those are the, 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 the simple and hard facts relating to the coming NEC election process of 2022. Zuma has not even been uh, nominated. His lieutenants have not even been nominated. They cannot take over the ANC. And therefore, they cannot take over the country in a year and a half, two years from now, during the general uh, elections taking place there. 
if a person tells you that, as I said already, part of my French again, ladies, the person is speaking simple bullshit. Okay. Cast him out. Cast him out. And that is what we are sitting with this afternoon. I wanted to bring you this message. Why? Because I can already see how people are running around with absolute nonsense in the media and these so-called political analysts. I don't know where they come from and why they are saying the things that they are saying. Maybe they are being paid to say that. Maybe they are just simply stupid. But please, these are the simple facts that you can ascertain for yourself from the ANC's official website where these names have been published officially and cannot be changed again. It's as simple as that. So here's my predictions. Sir Ramaphosa is going to be with us for at least another five years. It will happen. Deputy President, most probably. Paul Moshetile. Highly probable. And those are the two guys that you need to focus your attention on now. In a couple of years, the younger Zuma, the very charismatic uh, Matty young son of, of, of the Zuma clan, most probably will enter politics. But that is still at least a decade off. At this point in time, the Zuma faction is dead in the water. They do not even feature anymore, any longer, on the nomination lists of possible candidates for, poss for, for possible positions in the ANC. Full stop. You can draw the line there. So if you still believe you must give money to a person because somehow he's going to bring peace to different nations and different nationalities and different ethnic groups and whoever in South Africa because he has a good relationship with an old, 80 years old ex-president of the country who is now supposedly going to become the new president again. Um, please, wake up. Wake up to the coffee. Coffee smells much better than bullshit. So yes, that is most probably for now my last word on it. Have an excellent afternoon and thank you so much for, for listening to me. Skalk van der Merwe signing off.